grabs some besties. Time for a little turning red inspired dress up. Now that we have our Mei Lin inspired look, we need her friends. Let's start with a Priya inspired look. We're going to use Barbie Fashionista 34. I think it's 34. She already has curly hair, which is great. We just need a made to move body. We're going to use this one. It used to belong to the yellow top made to move Barbie. Everyone say it with me. Off with their heads. Place the dolls in a plastic bag, then place them in a cup of hot water until the heads are soft enough to be removed. There was a hole in the bag and everything got wet. Yup. Accidents happen and her hair seems to be okay, so yay. We're gonna just let her sit for a minute and pick out some clothes. She was wearing like mustard yellow and brown. Hmm, these might work. I think these were from one of the Nat Geo Barbies. Let's pair it with this creatable world top. Maybe some brown shoes. Nope, she wore sneakers. These pants are a little large. I wouldn't mind something a little more fitted. We can take artistic liberties and try something completely different. What about this yellow cat top that ties in the front? and these brown capri pants from one of the Jurassic World Barbies. And let's give her a nose ring. I'm using a sewing pin to make the hole, then cut it down and place it on the doll right in the little hole we already made. Well, the colors are right, but let's try something else. How about the I Work With Dinos yellow Jurassic World shirt and this brown overall dress? We are definitely building her a nice little wardrobe. For her final look, let's go with the Creatable World shirt, brown capris from Jurassic World, a watch, white sneakers, and black glasses. Completing our Priya inspired look. Abby is up next. I'm using Barbie Fashionista number 30. This is a tall Barbie, so we'll be putting her on this made to move body. I think this belonged to one of the yoga Barbies originally. You know the drill. Into the water to soften the head so we can remove it. Place it on the made to move body and you're done. Happy customizing. I'm not gonna cut her bangs just because I don't want to. But this doll has a very sweet face and I kind of want to change her eyebrows. I'm just using a little acrylic paint to kind of make them a little more arched and bring them a little closer together. Hmm, I need to clean this up. That should work. She was wearing purple and had on overalls. I don't think I have any purple overalls. I do have this. It's a purple printed apron from a Barbie career fashion pack. Maybe she has a part-time job working at a pet groomer. Since I don't have purple overalls, maybe we can go with something a little more athletic. Purple Puma sweatpants, white tank top, and a purple jacket. I don't know. Part of her charm was that she was in super cutesy clothes with patches. Here's a Barbie dress. It's purple, it has patches, but I really want overalls. Let's try this galaxy shirt from a Nat Geo Barbie. It's kind of purple-ish, has a lot of magenta in it. I paired it with a Snoopy overall dress. I just had to have those overalls and the patches. I gave her sneakers and a headband, completing her Abby-inspired look. I gotta get more purple clothes. Last but not least, Miriam. We're gonna go with a Jurassic World Barbie. Her hair color is off a little, but I like that she already has freckles and bangs. She is on a partial made-to-move body, but I want her on a full made-to-move body. So we're gonna give her this one we gave to Cinderella a long time ago. Aw, oh, man. 
into the bag, into the water, until their heads are soft and can be removed and placed on the new body. Let's take her hair down. I'm going to dip it into that hot water since we already have it. Comb her hair down, divide it in the back into two sections, braid them. and secure the ends. Definitely giving me more of Anne with an E vibes than Miriam, but you know, that's why it's an inspired look. Let's give her the green Barbie extra hat to hold it all down. It's kind of a bright green, but let's see if we can make it work. And look for some green clothes. Well, she's already wearing these green live doll shorts, but they don't really want to close in the back. So we can go with these shorts from the Barbie Mountain Climber paired with the top for a green look. The shirt definitely pulls in the color from the hat, so that's an option. Here is an all green Barbie jumper. I cannot remember what playset or fashion pack this came with. If you remember, let us know in the comments down below. It's a cute look, but let's try something else. Um, no. What about this? Barbie extra beanie, black choker, Ken sleeveless hoodie, a bracelet and watch to tie in the colors, green Ken joggers pushed up, and shoes to match the hat completing Miriam's inspired look. And now we have the whole group together. Hmm, Abby's eyebrows are looking kind of weird. Good thing I can still wash them off. I had a lot of fun creating these inspired looks based on characters from the movie Turning Red using Barbie clothes. The characters in the movie were about, what, 13? So this could be their look in like high school or college. Miriam's look is probably my favorite, but all in all, I love them all. Thank you for joining us while we dressed up our dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!